Battle of the Ego and the Psychic Mind As we have covered in past lessons, the psychic mind doesn't conform to a rigid frame of understanding and logic. It uses the emotional, artistic, abstract mind to understand and collect information. Once psychic data is received, like an octopus, the mind begins to apply meaning to the information using any ideas, thoughts, symbols, memory, and so on. The ego then attempts to apply logic to the information so it makes sense. According to the ego, the data should fit the traditional view of the world we know. The problem here is that usually psychic information is very fragmented and doesn't always follow normal thought and patterns of logic. In order to utilize the psychic mind, you have to collect as many fragmented ideas as possible and only then, with enough data, can you make any kind of assumption or jumping conclusion. The ego does not like puzzle pieces. It likes a complete picture. This is one of the most difficult processes during development. If the ego can't bring order to the psychic chaos, then it begins to target the personality of the individual. It builds a story around the intuitive personality and the sense of self. It puts pressure on you to build a story and align with some idea that makes sense. This causes one to get away from the abstract data or details and start to plug in any holes in an effort to make sense of things. In other words, they start to make things up and make a story out of it. The ego doesn't want to be wrong. Self-doubt, worry, and fear are tools of the ego, and these will be utilized when you try to process psychic data. The key is to get comfortable with these attempts from the ego because they never really go away. You must simply get used to their presence, acknowledge what they are, and move forward in your sensing efforts regardless of the pressure they put on you. But don't fret. You will certainly get better at this. This happens with continuous intention and practice of using your psychic senses.